Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 21st, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. Your only world weather man here at Daily Events Worldwide. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, we did have that minor C-class solar flare yesterday, and a plasma filament eruption today, and a large solar flare on the back side of the sun, which won't be visible on these images, but there we're looking at the plasma filament that erected, and as well on the right-hand side, C-class solar flare. This is all incoming. Cresting view, we do have a large sunspot coming in, outgoing Earth to scale, a little visual there as well. Pretty large sunspot leaving us, other than that, there are no Earth-facing sunspots right now. We are going to be watching the active regions coming around. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can really see that C-class flare from yesterday. 171 angstroms here, showing the coronal holes that are developing in the equatorial region. And as well, the southern hemisphere is still growing with plasma filaments wrapped all around it. Looking here at Alaska 3, as it does show the large backside solar flare going on, there's remnants from the plasma filament. And there's that large flare. So luckily that was not in an earth-facing direction. That was a huge halo event. Looking at real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 326 kilometers per second. Pretty jagged solar wind stream today. As well, density bunches jumping up to about 20. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now. Solar proton flux was slightly raised today. Geomagnetic activity remains moderate. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, look at the size of that flare that ejected right at Mercury. And as well, the Parker Solar Probe. So the Solar Probe would have seen a beautiful view of that. Schumann Resonance for today, a power of 24. Slightly heightened since yesterday. So amplitude of 24, quality of 11.8, power of 12. Let's get to earthquakes around the globe. We're going to start out with the largest to report. 5.8, which was reported yesterday. As well as some pretty deep earthquakes. Levuka, Fiji, 400, 549 kilometer depth and as well 582 kilometer depth. As well as south of Kermadec Islands, 4.5 there, pretty deep as well, 135 kilometer depth. Hawaii is still receiving some seismicity, 2.5 after that large 4.5 yesterday. Mariana's Trench still rumbling away, 4.9 again here, Marizo Village, Guam, and as well Mariana Islands, 4.1, pretty deep there, 200 kilometer depth, 4.6 here, Indonesia, 4.4, Huvian City, 10 kilometer depth, and as well Japan only receiving one Minor earthquake here, still aftershocks ringing from that large earthquake last week. Pakistan 4.4, Tajikistan 4.3, and a 4.5 here in Kazakhstan. So very busy plate there as well. 5.2 here reported in Flora, Norway. Pretty rare earthquake for that size for sure. As well, a 4.6 here in Mokombo, Mozambique, right on the coastal region. South Sandwich Islands with the largest to report, 5.5. South Sandwich Islands, 10 kilometer depth, but two of them ringing out there, north and south of that large 5.5, 35 kilometer depth. Michael Volcano is the, the Showing signs of unrest still. South America, pretty quiet today. Only one 4.4 to report. Both of those were from yesterday. 4.8 
or 4.9 Costa Rica and as well a 4.8 Guatemala. Action came back to the Caribbean plate, 4.1 there, and as well Puerto Rico. Levittown, and as well north of the island, 3.1. Across the United States, pretty quiet considering it's been really quiet recently. 2.7 there, Mentone, Texas. 2.9, Calipatria, California. And as well, Malibu, California, seeing a 2.9. And as well, a 3.1 here in Brookings, Oregon. Largest through the region. Quiet through Alaska as we speak. Expecting an uptick. Some pretty sizable systems heading that way. And have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. That is, it's been a moderately busy week. But way too quiet for my liking. North American plate. And as well, still through Central America. lot of pressure and plate pressure being released through Southeast Asia and of course down into the Tonga region where we've seen all of the deep earthquakes. So all of the elevated rings that we're looking at right now are the depth of the earthquakes. Very deep and numerous this past week. Fiji expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow. Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well, the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Of course, we have that extreme weather event that is breaking out across central and southeastern United States. Already tornado warnings in Austin, San Antonio, Texas, as well, Norman, Oklahoma, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, with that very large developing system. And it's going to be heading northeast. Let's get to volcanoes. Sangay in Ecuador. Manam, Papua New Guinea. And here's a new one. La Lonquime, Lonquime in Chile. Fuego, Guatemala. Sabancaya, Peru. Nevadas to Chilean. Sorry, that was Nevadas to Ruz, Colombia. Swiss to Najima, Japan. Raventador in Ecuador. Semeru, Indonesia. And Popo in Mexico. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today. And one new one to talk about in which I will be featuring in tomorrow's Volcano Activity Report. So stay tuned. Having a look here at the rest of the world for weather. Intense atmospheric river heading into BC. Storms fluent into New Zealand. As well, wildfire. Parts of southeastern Australia and southwestern Looking at gold fields, storm conditions. We do have one tropical storm to talk about. Tropical Cyclone Charlotte. And that's for now. In the long range forecast, we do have a couple more developing. Especially in the West Pacific. Quick look around the world here. Extreme heat, Western Pakistan. And as well, stormy conditions continue through Eastern Spain and as well Italy. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Let's get to the weather forecast here. World weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide. Looking at that large system that's going to be developing and encroaching on Ontario in the next two days. But more extreme weather will be tomorrow, so Tuesday is going to be the big day through the United States, and then that's just going to keep rolling through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right up the coastline. And watch for colder temperatures to come in behind this large system, especially through Ontario, overlooking Western Canada and the United States. Big systems off the coastline there, atmospheric river of moisture heading into parts of B.C., Central BC, overlooking Europe, still that lingering low through Spain, 
as well a pretty intense low pressure system heading into Norway, parts of Sweden, Finland. You guys will be bombarded by a pretty strong low Saturday into Sunday. And then observing that strange low off the west coast of Spain, overlooking Southeast Asia and Indonesia, Malaysia. We do have a couple tropical systems to watch for here. Heading into Indonesia, Philippines. And that is for next Thursday into Friday. Definitely will be a tropical depression, not sure on the category. Pretty strong systems heading into Thailand as well. Overlooking Australia, tropical uh, cyclone Charlotte's going to be racing down your west coast and then eventually making landfall. Looks like it will be Thursday into Friday next week or this week. So bringing lots of rain. Overlooking New Zealand, you've got a pretty strong low pressure system north of you, as well a convergence line of moisture on the east side of you, so gray days ahead of you. Overlooking South America, still lots of moisture north coast, as well daily evaporation rains to continue throughout the week, and pretty strong system here developing as still as forecasted here with daily events. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, nothing major to talk about. But then yeah, in the long range, we could have another tropical cyclone forming here in the middle of the Indian Ocean, heading southward as tropical cyclone Charlotte decides to head northward. I think a lot of systems will be stirring around the Indian Ocean this season. Heads up and stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Going to leave you here looking at the Northern Hemisphere versus the Southern Hemisphere. Looking at the major systems spinning around our planet as well. Showing you here at Null School our winds at 10,000 feet as the polar vortex is split and is still very strong. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike. Daily events worldwide. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye bye now. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world